Actually, spiritual consciousness keeps the body fit. Just like in the body, the spirit soul is there and the consciousness is also there, may be polluted, but as soon as the spirit soul gives up this body, the body immediately begins to decompose. So the decomposition of the body is checked by the spiritual presence. So if you become advanced in spiritual consciousness, there is no question of suffering from bodily disease. Yes, by your present position you can simply take the information that the dimension of the spirit soul is one ten thousand part of the tip of your hair. Very small particle that is spirit soul, uh, the dimension is given, you have got your hair, you can just imagine only, you cannot measure. And you divide the top of your hair into ten thousand parts, and that one part is the measurement of the spirit soul. That small particle is so powerful. Just imagine what is spiritual power. It is less than the atom. Therefore, it is described in the Vedic Anoraniyang, Mahato Mahiyang. The spirit is greater than the greatest and the smaller than the smallest. <coughs> there is form. Just like this body is compared with the dress. Now, just like in your present material form, you have got hand, therefore your coat has got hand. If you have, you have got leg, therefore your pant has got leg. Therefore it is to be assumed that the spirit soul has got form and it has developed into hands, legs, heads, everything. It is not formless, it has got form. But with our material eyes, at the present gross eyes, we cannot find it, therefore we say it has no form. Yes, he says that is God and Son of God. That is parampara.
Unfortunately, nobody cares to follow Jesus Christ. That I must say. The Jesus Christ says, "Thou shalt not kill." And Christians are very expert to kill. <laughs> they take pride in bullfighting. This is the position. So it is very difficult to find out a real Christian. What is that? You can remain anywhere. It doesn't matter. What is temple? They are following some rules and regulations. If you are eating something and if you get a better thing, you will give it up. So when one takes to bhakti means he understands the inferior quality of karma. So you take the superior quality activities and you forget inferior quality. Parangdhishtani bhaktate this is the Vedic verse. When one finds out superior engagement, he gives up inferior engagement. Changing? No, now they're doing this huh? heart transplantation. They're taking the heart of yeah. one person. The soul changes from this heart to that heart. That's all. Just like you are running your car, it stops. Then you change this car to that car. That's all. <laughs> This is it. It is very common thing. Durante el proceso de purificación podemos sentir la relación o raza que tenemos con la Suprema Personalidad de Dios. Yet by purifying ourselves we can feel our relationship that we have with the Supreme Personality of God. Yeah, that is the center of purification. Prabhupada, if we, I would like to know if there is no birth in the spiritual world, how do we re-enter the spiritual world? Hmm? Birth means, first of all, you take your birth where Krishna is now present. Krishna is present in one of the universes. There are innumerable universes. So you take your birth in the next universe or where Krishna is now, then you become trenda. And when you are trenda, then in person you go to Vaikuntha. No birth. Hmm, what is that? If you like, I can go. 
La pregunta es, si no hay nacimiento en el mundo espiritual, ¿cómo entramos en el mundo espiritual? Pablo dijo que primero vamos al universo donde Cristo está apareciendo, donde Cristo está internándose y nacemos como uh, en relación con Cristo y después de ser entrenado perfectamente vamos personalmente al mundo espiritual. No. Because it is stated in Bhagavad Gita, Bhaktyamama Vijanati, Javan Jastami, Tattato, Tatu Mang Tattato Gatwa, Bishadita Dhanantaram. Find out this. Bhaktyamama Vijanati. Ah, uno puede entender a la Suprema Personalidad de Dios tal como es, solamente por el servicio devocional. Y cuando uno esté en plena conciencia del Señor Supremo, por tal devoción, él puede entrar en el reino de Dios. Nobody is allowed to enter the kingdom of God without becoming bhakta. Nadie es per, per, uh, permitido entrar en el reino de Dios sin hacerse un bhakta de otro. And there is no difficulty of becoming bhakta because the, to become bhakta means four principles. One thing is to always think of Krishna, uh, manmana, bhavamad bhakta, that is bhakta. Simply by thinking of Krishna, that is Hare Krishna. When you chant Hare Krishna, you think of Krishna. You become bhakta, immediate. Uh, then, after becoming manmana, bhavamad jaji, you worship me, mang namaskuru, and offer obeisance. It is very simple thing. If you think of Krishna and if you offer little obeisances and if you worship Him, these three things will make you bhakta and you go back to home, back to God. No es difícil hacerse un bhakta de otro. Hay cuatro principios. Primero, manmana, siempre piense en Krishna. No es difícil pensar en Krishna. Y bhavama bhakta, sea un devoto de Krishna. Madhyaji tiene que adorar a Krishna y manas kuru ofrezca sus obediencias a Krishna. De esa manera, por pensar en Krishna y por ofrecer sus respetos y obediencias a Krishna, voy a hacerse un devoto y volver a casa a volver a Krishna. We are teaching this thing, chant Hare Krishna, offer obeisance to Diti and worship, finish. Otherwise, they should go to the Gyana path. It requires so much knowledge, so much grammatical, so much name, nose pressing, pressing you know, so many things. You avoid all these things. Simply do these three things and you become both. Why don't you take the easiest process and go back to home, back to God? Thank you very much. <laughs>